As we gather each and every morning for morning moments with Jesus in our devotion time, we try to be encouraging and try to give an uplifting word each and every morning for not only the obstacles that may be in our lives and how to navigate around those, but also the blessings that await us uh, if we are on the path uh, that the Lord has placed in our lives that day, the direction that we need to go, then God can give us spiritual eyesight and He can be along on that journey with us. In Psalms 23, we know that that He says that uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But it goes on to say that He leads us uh, beside still waters and in the path of righteousness and all of those things. So it's very important to have the presence of God in our lives. It is equally important to have the permission of God in our lives to proceed in the direction that He has for us to go. Listen to this conversation between Moses and the Lord in Exodus chapter 33. When Moses was desiring the presence of the Lord to direct him and the Israelites through uh, their journey uh, that, that God had ordained for them. Listen to what he says beginning in verse number 13. Now therefore I pray if I have found grace in your sight then show me now your way that I may know you, and that I may find grace in your sight, and consider that this nation is your people. And the Lord said, My presence shall go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said unto him, If your presence go not with me, then carry us not up now. What Moses is, is asking the Lord, he says, First of all, he said, Lord, if I have found grace in your sight, which we know that Moses did because the Lord had chosen him and and brought him out of a place in his life and giving him a new direction in leading his people. This morning I say to you, it is very important to have the grace of God upon your life. It is extremely important that you know beyond the shadow of any doubt that you are his child called by his name. And that the Lord can order your steps and ordain your steps through life. To have that grace that only comes from His Son, Jesus Christ. That is very important. But Moses says, if I have found grace in your sight, then I want you to show me your way. And if we could just focus on that this morning. When you get up today, there may be already set in your mind your way of doing things. You know how you want to do it, you know when you want to do it, and you know how long you want to do it. But it may not be God's way. And so it is very important that if we want not only the presence of God in our daily life, in our decisions, we must also have the permission of God to proceed in that direction. Lord, Moses says, Lord, I don't want to just do it any way. I want you to show me your way that I may know you. See, one thing Moses understood here is that if the Lord began to show Moses his way of doing it, God's way of doing it, then through that process, Moses would learn more about God, how he operates, how he cares, how he functions. And how he can navigate you through a wilderness or anything else that is going on in your life. Then the Lord speaks in verse 14 and he says, My presence shall go with you and I will give you rest. It is amazing that when God is directing your steps, when he is not only with you present, but He has also given you permission to proceed in the direction that He wants you to go, that He will give you more energy, He will give you more time, He will give you more rest than if you ever try to do it on your own. See, that's why sometimes we get so weary and we get so wore out on trying to go through the daily battles and struggles of life is because if we're honest with each other and honest before God this morning, There are too many times we're trying to do it our way and not the way of the Lord. So the Lord says, I'm going with you. And so Moses qualifies that in verse number 15 by basically saying, Lord, 
If your presence is not with me, then I don't want to go. And that should be our cry this morning. Lord, if this is not your way of doing it, then I don't want to go. I don't want to do it. There's a song I love to listen to called Spirit Lead Me. And there's a there's a chorus in there that I wanna I wanna kinda speak to you this morning. Because it should be our mentality, it should be our cry each and every day. It goes something like this. If you say it's wrong, then I'll say no. If you say release, I'm letting go. And if you're in it with me, I'll begin. And when you say to jump, I'm diving in. If you say be still, then I will wait. If you say to trust, I will obey. I don't want to follow my own ways. I'm done chasing feelings. So Spirit, lead me. That's the way we ought to cry out this morning. Lord, I'm done chasing feelings. I don't want to do it my way anymore. So I'm asking you, Lord, if I have found grace in your sight, today, show me your way your way of doing it, and then go with me as I accomplish the things that you have set out for me to do. But I'll tell you this morning, Lord, just like Moses said in Exodus thirty-three fifteen, if this isn't your way, and if you're not going to be with me through this process, not just your presence, but your permission to go this way, then I don't want to go. I only want what you want today. I pray that over you today, and I pray that you find not just your way, but the Lord's way today. You be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. You have a great and wonderful day.